Absolutely. It's always been a huge goal of Jason Ellis to actually be able to move Ellis Mania uh, around, almost like a traveling carnival. Um, and this is gonna be his first time getting to bring Ellis Mania to the Canadian audiences, the Canadian fans. He has a huge listener base here in Canada through Sirius XM uh, on, on his station, Faction with Jason Ellis. So this is, um, this is just the, the first time we get to bring it to Canada, um, and it's gonna be one of those things we're gonna continue to do. So this is Ellis Mania 12, Vancouver, May 7th. You know, I thought the last fight, uh, it was my second fight at Ellis Mania. The first one I got to go one-on-one -on -one with Jason Ellis as he fought uh, 10 of his fans, and I got to be the 10th person to get in there and square off against them, which was a lot of fun. Um, the last event, the Master Blaster, I got to fight with Jason Ellis, and we went against Kit Cope and uh, Mike Catherwood from Loveline. Um, partner with Dr. Drew, and I did think that was it. I was, I was, uh, I was hanging up the gloves. That was my retirement. That was my coming out and retirement party all at the same time. But then when I got the the phone call on the air, and that's the one thing that Jason does is he'll call you on the air, making it so that you're kind of uh, stuck. You know, not only are you saying no to Jason Ellis on the air, you're saying no to all of the fans. And at this stage with uh, the Voice Boy show that also airs on Faction, there's a crossover of fans. So I felt like obliged to, to take part again. And the clincher was this time around, it's myself and Jason Ellis are gonna be fighting with my brother, Rob Sluggo Boyce, in the pinata fight. And what better fight to come out of retirement is when I get to defend the RDS pinata. I mean, what better than to have three actual red dragons defending the pinata, you know? So I, I felt obliged. I felt like I had to. I had no choice but to come out of retirement to uh, lace it up one more time and hopefully the last. Ellis Mania 12 here in Vancouver is gonna have a few of the fights that we've learned to love from past events. We got the pinata fight, we have the musical chairs fight, we have the addition of a female musical chairs fight, which is gonna be phenomenal to watch, as well as we've added the Canadian aspect. We have Sasquatch versus Yeti, we have the oil worker, the rigger versus the logger, as well as the hockey fight, and I can't wait to watch the hockey fight. Nothing better than watching two dudes dressed in hockey gear slug it out. Well, look, Ellis Mania is uh, a ripoff from uh, Hulkamania, which is a ripoff from Beatlemania. Yeah, so Ellis Mania to me is training and preparing and um, fighting your fears, you know, being terrified. Ellis Mania is about being better, testing yourself. Guess Ellis Mania, you can do no wrong as long as you show up and fight. If you cower and duck, that is probably the only time you can fail. If you say you're going to be there and then you don't show up, that's the only time you're going to fail. And it's going to live with you for the rest of your life, not me. I already forgot. Um, Alice Mania is about um, gay rights, gay and lesbian rights, because we help everybody. And Alice Mania is about the kids, because we donate money to charity. And it's about skateboarding, because we donate money to Tony Hawk to make skate parks. Ellis Mania makes stuff, it builds stuff, it's a positive vibe, all from hurting each other. Um, Ellis Mania is about hot chicks, because there's hot chicks there, and those are cool, boobs. Ellis Mania is about seeing Sluggo get punched in the face. <coughs> Ellis Mania is about um, seeing me get punched in the face. Ellis Mania is about watching me punch you in the face. Um, um, well, the main thing is the show, the Jason Ellis show. It's been uh, it's been a pretty good show, especially for me, and uh, it's been pretty therapeutic in a sense. So it's good to give back to the show, especially especially since it's coming to Vancouver. Uh, I was pretty excited. Uh, I wanted to jump on tickets right away, and then when I heard you could actually be in there to fight, I put like I think it was the first day. I put my name right in there right away. No, I don't. I have absolutely no idea who he is or how big he is or anything. <laughs> and. Who cares? No, I, I'm not worried. I just want to get in there and swing. It'll be fun. Just stand strong, get low, start swinging hard, grab his jersey, hopefully get it over his head and punch him in the face as hard as I can. I don't imagine it's going to be too long. Hockey fights aren't, but I mean, if they are, I'm, I'm good to go the distance. Uh, and I don't think I have a mindset going into Ellis Mania. I'm, no, I don't. Um, 
was in Vancouver, so I felt obliged to participate. So I've been to about eight, and uh, you know, once you're watching it, and you see Jason and my brother in there, you go like, ah, it would be fun to do this. But it's always in the back of your head, and it probably will never happen, and it is. Well, I get this opportunity to fight next to my brother, like, in life, when do you get to do that? Well, not very often, especially at our age. It means craziness, fun, parties, fans, laughter, entertainment. Uh, I went pro for skateboarding in 1991 and went to the World Championships in Munster, Germany. And Jason was from Australia, I was from Vancouver, and we met there for the first time. And uh, so, it was sort of a bonding moment. It was the first World Championships. We both came in the top 10 and we've been friends ever since. Um, well, I started training um, a few months ago, like consistently not knowing that I was gonna be doing this. And I wanted to actually go into doing Muay Thai fights. And this came along and I was like, that's perfect for me, for my first fight to get Yes, uh, well, I'm a stunt woman, so I do a lot of training in lots of different things, uh, different martial arts, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, weapons, um, just an overall conditioning and staying fit. So the training itself hasn't been too hard, but I've been learning so much, um, just like preparing for a real fight and actually like going into a fight, just the mindset. I actually didn't know that we were the only fight on the card, and I, when I heard that, that's exciting, that's awesome. I'm, like, I'm stoked to go in there and win. Yes, I know Jason from a long time ago. I was a pro snowboarder, um, and so I grew up riding with the RDS guys and got to know everybody and always been a fan and kept track of everybody, and yeah, it was, just got asked to so sure. I'm gonna try to knock her out. I'm gonna try my best. Um, well, this is my fourth Hellas Mania. I'm pretty stoked. It's here in Vancouver. Um, it's the thing where all the Alice fam and a bunch of Canadians and crazy ass Americans all get together and have a fucking party. Yeah, so I'm in the musical chairs fight. Uh, it's like uh, everyone races for chairs and whoever doesn't get one fights. Um, I've done it three times. This will be my fourth time. And uh, I made, I made like a bunch of crazy friends and um, get to punch people in the face and talk shit on everyone, it's pretty fun. Hey. I think I'm gonna win this one. I'm gonna get a chair before anyone else. Till the very end. We have other events going on over the weekend. May 6th at the Rio Theater, Jason Ellis are doing a live taping of his radio show with the premiere of Enter the Red Dragon, the newest RDS skateboard video, with the after party going on at the Hastings Warehouse. Then the next night, May 7th, Ellis Mania 12, live from Vancouver at the Imperial Theater, with the after party going on at the Penthouse, Canada's oldest running strip club, founded in 1938. And if that isn't enough, Sunday, May 8th, we have another taping of the Jason Ellis Show from the score on Davey. I can't wait to meet you all.